I've bought 10 agencies in the past two years, and here's what all of the digital marketing agencies that we bought had in common. Hey, I'm Jason Swank, and I've been in the agency world since 1999. I started an agency back by accident and grew it over 12 years and grew it to over eight figures and had a successful exit. And then for the past 10 years, I've been coaching agency owners all over the world. And a couple years ago, we started a, uh, another digital agency where we've been buying agencies. And when I say buying agencies, we've been buying them for real money. So all the agencies that we've been buying has been over a million in net profit or a million in EBITDA. And here are the eight elements that they all have in common. The first one is they all have a clear defined vision and everyone in the agency knows that vision and where they're going. I see too many times that, and it goes back to my origin story, right? That I just told you. Too many times you're an accidental agency owner. You knew how to do something cool. You started this agency and then literally you were off to the races and being reactive to whatever was coming to you. And then you as the owner or the founder had to make all those decisions because everyone in your agency didn't know where they were going. So they had to make decisions based on what's best for them rather than what's best for the agency. And if you give them the vision, then they're going to know it. The second most common element that all of these agencies that we bought had was they had a consistent flow of pipeline and multi-channel. So they weren't relying on referrals like a lot of agencies that I see, because if you rely on referrals, that just isn't scalable. They had an inbound channel. They had an outbound channel. They had strategic partnerships that were feeding them. So they had a way for consistent lead flow, which was always building their pipeline. So then they could be picky and pick and choose the clients that they wanted based on where they're actually going. The third element that they all had in common was they had predictable revenue. They had reoccurring revenue. They were looking at constantly growing the existing counts that they had, and they were always created a stickiness. Number four, they all had a diverse client base. They didn't have any particular client that was over 20% of the revenue. Look, if you have a client 20% of revenue or more and they leave, that's a huge red flag for someone buying you. It should be a huge red flag for your agency. Now, I'm not saying if a client comes in and they're going to be 30% of your revenue, I'm not saying to turn them down, take it on, but anticipate them going away. And while you're anticipating them going away, start looking for more whales. So now you get another client that is a, at that level. So now that percentage actually goes down and you keep leveling your agency up. Number five, and this is a big one. Your leadership team is doing the day-to-day -day work. Look, I totally understand as you're uh, growing your agency, there's a lot of things that you as an owner have to do, whether it be marketing or sales or project management, talking to clients, but you, they all have created systems and hired people in order to take that over from them. I see a lot of agency owners doing sales all of themselves and they go, I'm always going to be the best salesperson. But if you leave, and most chances when you know an agency is bought, the owner only stays for a select time because they're used to calling all the shots and they don't like to be told what to do and they leave. And then now that's a whole channel that that agency buys that they have to fill. And so you have to come up with the right systems in order to replace yourself in those. Look, they all basically had four or five roles as the agency CEO. First, they set the vision. This goes back to the first one. They set the vision and they communicate it to the team. That's the most important. Second, they coach their leadership team to be better and show them how they can coach their team under them to be better and go for it. Third, they understand the financials and they know their numbers so they can actually work with their team in order to help them improve their numbers. And the next one is they're always building strategic relationships. They're doing the things that the rest of the team might not be able to do because you're the owner, you're the CEO. And once you can get to these roles, now you've transformed from an owner to a CEO. Number six, 
They're all profitable and they're all growing. The agencies that we bought, we're not looking to go to a garage sale and find a deal. We want them to be growing and we want them to be profitable. Like I told you, all the agencies that we've been buying, they're well over the million in profit. And so if your profit is really low, you need to work on that. Why do you want, I mean, you should have created a nonprofit business if that was the case, but you should be showing a track record of growing profitability and growing year over year or have a really good story of what happened. Number seven, you got to know your numbers. And what we look for is, do you know the KPIs in order for what are the levers of are you doing well? Are you not doing well? It goes back to the, the EBITDA or the net profit. What are those numbers? How many leads are you, you know, bringing in? What's the conversion rate? So then anything that you measure, you can improve. If you're not measuring, it's kind of like if I wanted to lose weight and I'm not um, weighing myself every day, how do I know if I'm going in the right direction or in order to make those adjustments? And the last one, and I think this is a surprise you, is audited financials. It would surprise you about how many agencies I talk to and they tell us the numbers and then we start auditing their financials and they're way off. And then if you're way off and you think that and you're being honest too, then you're you're doing yourself a disservice because you think up to this point that everything that you've been doing is right. Where if you really knew the true numbers, then you can make those adjustments. You could bring in those people in order to figure out what you need to do. And so those are the eight elements that are the most common with the agencies that we have bought. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on these eight elements. Which ones are you struggling with the most? We'd love to help you out. And we've created a ton of other resources over here and over here that you can click on in order to help you out to get your agency to a point where you have more freedom. Your agency is actually growing. You have the opportunity to sell your agency if you want in the future. I'd love to hear your comments. Reach out. And until next time, have a swing day.